Okay, there's going to be some wind noise up here. Uh, sorry about that. But my roof vent is leaking again. It's leaking again, and it's leaking pretty bad, too. We had some serious rain the other day. It was coming in pretty bad, so... Uh, I suspect that this silicone hasn't worked. Um, I did read a couple of comments from people online in different forums that silicone should not be used for exterior applications. So I've decided that what I really need to do is, first of all, I have to remove all this silicone. All of that, all of that silicone has to come off. So I'm going to use Eternabond tape to tape over and onto the roof. And that should seal the leak, I hope. It's going to be a tough job, I think, getting all this silicone off. It'll be a darn pain in the neck. And I think that's what I have to do to stop the leaks. I got the tape delivered today. I got it on Amazon. And tomorrow is gonna rain heavy. Heavy rain tomorrow. So I may just stay parked right where I am. Because I have a roof over my head. <laughs> I may stay here. For the next full day, maybe day and a half. Tomorrow's Friday, it's supposed to rain heavy all day. So I may have to stay here until Saturday morning. At any rate, I'm gonna try to get started on this. And uh, I'll take it from there. I'll check in with you later. Well, it's really windy, so I have to stand on the leeward side of the van. Uh, some people I've seen are using Goo Gone or Mineral Spirits to help wipe the, um, to help remove the silicone. I don't have any Mineral Spirits or any Goo Gone, but I do have this stuff. And I tried it, and it seems to help when you get the, uh, when you scrape away the silicone until it's just a little, thin little layer you spray some of this stuff on it and it comes right up now of course i'm gonna to have to wash all that off but this helps loosen that stuff and get it up so that's what i'm using all right so i've had to scrape with a razor get down there and scrape every last little bit of silicone off of there Probably going to be a couple of little little crumbs that we'll probably get left behind. But overall, I'm not too worried because the tape is four inches wide, and my little flange here is only about an inch wide, so it's going to fit over. Um, it's going to slop over to the roof here by about three inches. So that should give it plenty of surface area to stick to. I've been cleaning it with Windex and paper towels. Now I'm going to go down and get some alcohol, and wipe it down with alcohol to make sure it's really clean. And then I'm going to put the tape on and pray that it doesn't leak. And so I'm using my new telescopic ladder, telescopic ladder. My new telescopic ladder that I bought from Home Depot, I ordered it online and they delivered it to the store here in Salem. A little over $200, I don't remember the exact price. It was a little over $200. But you know what, if you're gonna be living in a van and you're gonna have things up on your roof like roof vents and eventually solar panels, you're gonna need a ladder. And this one collapses down to a small size. So I don't have to be carrying around some 12-foot, you know, step ladder, aluminum step ladder. I have no room to put it. I'm probably not going to have much room to put this in the van either. I may have to put it back in storage. In fact, I know I will.
so this is the Eterna Bonds tape. Came in a 10 foot roll. I still have that much left over, and you never know. I might need this to do some patchwork up there if I still have a leak. All right, well, there it is. I've laid it all down. I'll admit it's not the most professional looking job you'd probably ever want to see. And I did use a roller to burnish it down real good. You'll notice that I overlap these corners just to make sure that everything is covered real good. Now my biggest concern is that I had to lay this stuff down on top of the screw heads. And I sincerely hope that this stuff sticks as well as it says it does. And I'll tell you one thing, when you start peeling that um, film off the back to lay it down, once you place this stuff down, it is stuck. It ain't coming back up again. <laughs> so you gotta be pretty careful about how you handle it. Cause this stuff ain't coming back up again. So I can't really get my fingers down into that space behind the screw heads there. I did the best I could do. Hope it works. If it doesn't, <laughs> I'll be back up here again. Well, as you may or may not be able to hear, it is starting to rain out. It's supposed to be raining heavy today. It didn't. It rained very light off and on. But now we're getting some heavy stuff. So we'll see if my roof patching job holds up. It is supposed to rain all night. It's about uh, a little after eight o'clock in the evening. It's supposed to rain all night. So I'll be getting up once in a while to check, see if we're leaking. And I should be able to give you a full report in the morning. We'll see you then. All right, well, it's morning. And it rained pretty heavily for a while last night, thunder and lightning, and not a drop of water got in. Yeah, yeah, baby, my patch job is holding the Eterna Bond. The Eterna Bond tape has worked, has done its job. It is there for eternity. So that's a wrap for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends and share because sharing is caring.
Live long and prosper. Peace. Out. <laughs> <laughs>